Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. My name is Daria and this is a 25 minute beach yoga flow. All you'll need today is yourself and somewhere to move and when you're ready, let's get into it. We'll get started today in child's pose. At the back of your mat, bring your toes to touch, spread your knees wide, and then crawl your fingertips all the way forward and down. You can bring your forehead to connect with the mat, or maybe your chest and your chin sink all the way down. Begin simply by bringing more awareness, more consciousness to your breath. Bringing more depth to the breath, as you inhale, fill up your low belly like a balloon and then send the air to the space between each rib and all the way up to the very top of your lungs. Exhale on a sigh with an open mouth. Let all of it go. And let it be clearing and cleansing. You can take as many open mouth exhales as you like and then begin to fade in ujjayi breath. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose like you're trying to fog up a mirror with the quality of oceanic sound. And do a scan through your body to notice any sensations or thoughts or emotions coming up right away. And then breathe into whatever you feel. And begin to slowly make your way up to tabletop. Shifting more weight into your palms, coming to hands and knees. So shoulders are over your wrists and your hips are right over your knees. Then begin to reach your right toes all the way up behind you. Bend your right knee as you inhale, drop your belly and lift your gaze for cow. Then exhale, pull your right knee in towards your chest or your chin or your nose or your forehead for cats. Inhale, cow with the right leg lifted, reach up. Exhale, cat. Draw your right knee in, hollow your front body, press your palms into the mat. One more time, inhale. Kick your right toes, lift your gaze, open your heart. Exhale, round and curl. Hug your belly button to your spine. And then root your right knee down. Lift your left leg up high. As you inhale, open your front body for cow. Exhale, left knee to chin or nose or chest or forehead. Inhale, kick high, traction your palms towards your right knee. Exhale, draw your knee and your forehead to meet. One more time. Inhale, kick high for cow with the left leg lifted high. Exhale, round and curl, press away from the mat. Suction your front body up towards your back body and then drop your left knee down. Tuck your toes behind you, press your palms down and forward and glide back to downward facing dog. Take a few breaths to settle into your foundation. Take any organic movements that you need to explore this shape in your body today. You can pedal your feet or rock your hips side to side. Hug your forearms to the midline and then spin your biceps a little more forward and wrap your triceps back to externally rotate your shoulder blades. See if you can swell your heart closer towards your thighs and maybe sink your heels a little closer down to the earth. Good. Begin to send more weight down into your left toes. And as you inhale, float your right leg up high for three-legged down dog. Then stack your hip and bend your knee. Right hip stacks over the left. Reach your right toes as far to the left side as they'll go while keeping your right armpit facing the earth. And then begin to make broad, sweeping, exaggerated circles with your whole right leg so you can Keep it bent as you stack your hips, then take it more to straight as you stretch out toward the right side and then skim them out with your toes. This doesn't have to look exactly like what I'm doing. You can just feel it from the inside out with your own body, whatever you wanna do. And then begin to return, pause at the top with square hips, inhale. As you exhale, hug your right knee to your chest and then step your right foot down between your palms. Inhale, high lunge, press down through your big toe mounds, reach up through your fingers and then soften your shoulders away from your ears. 
Exhale, twist toward the right side of your mat. Reach your left fingertips forward and your right fingertips back. And then begin to flip your left palm up to face the sky. Reach forward, keep your torso long, elongate through all the lines. And then as you exhale, plant your left palm down inside your right foot. Reach up with your fingertips and gaze up with both of your eyes. You can cactus through your lifted arm and glide a little into your back body to stretch your heart. And then revolve back to frame your foot. Plant your right palm, pick up your hips, draw your right knee closer to straight. Pick up your right foot by pressing into the mat and glide back downward facing dog. Inhale to sweep your left leg high, three-legged down dog, and then stack your hip, bend your knee. Reach through your left toes all the way to the right side of the mat. And then again, bring in broad circles. And whatever shape you wanna make, it might be like the letter D or it might be closer to an actual circle. It doesn't have to follow a set pattern. You can just move in a way that feels good. Stay with your breath. And then pause when you reach the top. Square your hips, point your left pinky toe down to face the earth, inhale. As you exhale, draw your left knee to your chest, curl as you step through to the top, left foot plants. Inhale to hug your inner thighs together, reach up through your fingertips, high lunge. Exhale, twist toward the left side of your mat. Reach forward through your right fingertips and back through your left fingertips. Shift your outer left hip slightly back as you pull your right hip forward. Keep your belly button hugging towards your spine and then begin to flip your right palm up toward the sky as you reach far forward through your torso, keeping the spine extending. And then plant your right palm down inside your left foot. Reach up with your left arm and lift your gaze. On an exhale, maybe cactus your left arm to help you elevate your heart even higher. Puff it up from back to front. And then revolve back to the top of your mat. Root your palms, pick up your left foot and glide back downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up high onto the balls of your feet. Round forward to high plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Elbows graze your rib cage. Untuck your toes, inhale, upward facing dog, hover your thighs, expand the whole front line of your body. Maybe lift your gaze. And then exhale, hug your front body to your back body, glide back to downward facing dog. Inhale, and reach your right leg high, three-legged down dog. We'll skip the circles this time and just exhale, step straight through to low lunge. Inhale, fingertips rise, core is connected, high lunge. Exhale, twist, left fingertips forward, right fingertips back. Reach forward through your left fingertips, flip your palm up. And then as you exhale, root your left palm, lift up through your right fingertips, swell your heart up toward the sky. Keep your pelvis buoyant, then revolve back to the top, plant your palms, lift your right foot, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts high, three-legged down dog. Exhale, low lunge, step to the top. Inhale, high crescent lunge, reach up through your heart and your fingertips, and then let this length carry you into a twist. Right fingertips forward, left fingertips back. Reach forward, and then bring your right hand down to the inside of your left thigh. Lift up with your left fingertips, gaze up with both eyes. As you exhale, plant your palms and step or glide back, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, ripple forward to high plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga, untuck your toes. Inhale, upward facing dog, press away from the mat. Swell your heart and then exhale, glide back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your way up to the top of your mat. Bring your toes behind your wrists and fold from your hips. Relax the back of your neck and let the crown of your head be really heavy. As you inhale, bend your knees a lot. Sink weight back into your heels and then reach up through your heart, your fingertips and your eyes for chair pose. Keep your hips low. 
Let your toes be floaty. They might even lift away from the mat. You can challenge yourself to try it. Breathe really deeply as you sink a little lower. And then on your next inhale, ripple all the way up to stand, Tadasana. Fingertips reach up overhead. Maybe go for a mini back bend, draw your palms to meet. And then on your exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Butt goes back, heart goes forward. Inhale to root your fingertips. Reach back through your left toes, standing L. Grow super, super long. And then hug your belly button to your spine. Begin to float your fingertips away from the mat and reach out wide for your arms for a warrior three variation with arms extended out to the side. Anchor down through your right big toe mound. Extend through all the lines, your arms, your hands, your fingers, your legs, your feet, your toes. Then inhale, press from your right glute down to your right heel. Hover your left foot next to your right foot and rise all the way up, carrying your left foot through and forward with you. Squeeze your left thigh and your right thigh. Cinch your waist. Lift your rib cage away from your hips. And then exhale like a pendulum, glide right back to airplane where you were skimming the surface with your foot as you travel through. And try to keep your heart puffy here by squeezing your shoulder blades together. Again, inhale, rise back to stand, glide your left foot through, reach forward through the sole of your left foot. Foot can be flexed or pointed, whatever feels good. Exhale again, glide back, airplane. Extend in all directions. Then begin to bend into your right knee. Reach forward through all 10 fingertips to counteract your balance as you step back through your left foot. Spin it out at 45 degrees for warrior one. Reach up through your fingertips, square your hips. Exhale, plant your palms. Glide your right foot back to hover, Ekapada Chaturanga if you like. Keep your right leg lifted for upward facing dog as you inhale. And then as you exhale, glide back to three-legged down dog. Right leg is still lifted. Inhale, exhale. Pull your right knee to your left tricep and then extend your right leg out to the side. You can anchor the knife edge of your right foot for fallen triangle or keep it floating by squeezing your inner thighs together. Reach forward through your left fingertips, extend the side body and then reground your left palm to the mat. Revolve through center, root your left heel, step your right toes back behind you and lift up your hips for wild thing. Big front body stretch. Press away from the earth to swell your whole front body, expand the tissues. Then engage your core to glide back to downward facing dog. Root your right palm and your right foot. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat for forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, sink weight to your heels. Bend your knees a lot. Shift your hips back, reach up through your heart and your fingertips. And try to keep your inner thighs squeezing toward the midline. And sit your hips one inch lower. Good, and then inhale to ripple all the way up to Tadasana. Arms reach up, palms can connect. Go for a little back bend, maybe slightly deeper than the one before it or not. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Paint the sides of your room with your fingertips. Inhale, root your fingertips, reach back through your right toes, standing L. Then hug your belly button towards your spine, anchor down through your left foot and slowly reach your fingertips away from the floor and out to the sides, airplane pose. Grow longer than you think you can in all directions. Then press down from your left glute into your left heel to begin to rise up to stand. Hover your right foot next to your left, but don't put it down. Then reach your right leg all the way forward. Squeeze your right thigh and your left thigh. Fingertips are floaty overhead. Draw your ribs together and down. Inhale here. And then as you exhale, glide right back where you came from like a pendulum. Reach out with your fingertips and your toes. Reach forward through the roof of your mouth. Feel so steady and rooted down through your left foot. Imagine there are literal roots anchoring you to the earth. And then begin to rise back through center. 
Reach forward with your right toes. Reach, reach up with your fingertips. Inhale. Last time, glide all the way back where you came from. Right foot skims the mat, arms go out, airplane. Then bend your left knee as you reach all 10 fingertips forward. Reach back with your right toes, turn them out at 45 degrees, and slowly put your right foot down one piece at a time. Connect your core and inhale, rise up to warrior one. Hips are square toward the front. Reach down through your feet. And then as you exhale, plant your palms. Glide your left foot back to hover at Kapata Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Keep your left leg floating if you can. Exhale, glide right back to three-legged down dog. Left leg is lifted. If you have to put it down in between, that's fine. Lift it up again. Inhale. And then exhale. Left knee to right tricep. Reach out through your left foot. Maybe it anchors for fallen triangle or lift it up. Extend through your side body, all the ribs. Reach forward through your right fingertips. Exhale, reground your palms. Swivel all the way to root your right heel down. Step your left toes back behind you and lift your way up to wild thing. Try to keep your right arm bone plugging into your body even as you stretch. As you exhale, connect your core and revolve back to downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, sink down both knees to your mat. Bring your hips to sit back on your heels. Bring your palms to face up on your thighs. Close your eyes and just drop. You can be totally still or if you'd like to take some little wiggles or any little movement, that's fine too. Just take a moment to feel and to absorb. You can clear the breath with a sigh. And blink your eyes open. And begin to ground your palms back down in front of you and glide back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high, three-legged down dog. Exhale, glide your right shin to the top of your mat, align it for half pigeon, and then put it down as you crawl your left toes back behind you. Keep your left toes tucked and crawl your fingertips closer towards your right shin or maybe step them outside your hips. As you inhale, squeeze your right foot and your left knee toward each other to square your hips and elevate your pelvis. You can float your arms up overhead like you're gonna take flight. As you exhale, melt everything back down. Untuck your left toes and fold forward into sleeping pigeon. Really let your breath slow down here. So every time that you inhale, you can say the word deep in your head. And every time that you exhale, say the word slow and really allow those words to inform the way that you're breathing deeply and slowly. And then send the breath right to the very core of what you're feeling, perhaps in the outer right hip. Soften anything that doesn't need to be engaged and allow yourself to totally melt like wax down into the earth. Begin to slowly press back up to the palms of your hands and then crawl your fingertips back toward your right shin. Root your palms down, tuck your left toes, pick up your right shin and glide back to downward facing dog. Inhale to sweep your left leg high, three-legged down dog. Exhale, half pigeon, left shin to the top of your mat. Align it and then lower it. Crawl your right toes back behind you. Again, keep the toes tucked. Crawl your fingertips more to the midline. Take one inhale breath to sweep everything away from the floor. Pull up through your pelvic floor. Reach your arms high. As you exhale, you can melt everything down. Untuck your right toes. And as you're ready, begin to fold forward.
allow the process of folding forward to be a process. So it's not a race to get to your full depth right away or to the maximum amount of sensation right away. You can take your time with it and really breathe into each piece of the old unfolding process. And come back to those words of deep and slow. And allow all the muscles in your body to become more liquid. And like you're just melting in the sun. And let your breath reach even the darkest corners, even the spaces that feel the tightest to really clean and clear away any debris or residue. Unclench your jaw, relax your forehead, soften your eyelids. And begin to press back up to your palms, walk your hands in, Tuck your right toes, press away from the mat, pick up your left shin, and glide back, downward facing dog. Inhale, and then exhale, lower your knees to the mat. Shift your hips to sit down, so both of your sitting bones come down to one side or the other. Then stretch your legs all the way long in front of you and swivel so that you're sitting right on your sitting bones. Root your fingertips, cinch your waist, puff your heart, reach your fingertips up high, and on an exhale, fold forward, like your torso is draping over your thighs. You can either round the spine here or stay with a flat back, whatever you prefer. But breathe into what you're feeling. Maybe let the breath travel along the grain of your hamstrings or along your spine. Soften the palms of your hands, the soles of your feet, your fingers, and your toes. And begin to rise back up to a seat, lift your torso, then just draw your knees in so you're sitting in Sukhasana, easy pose. Let it be spacious. As you inhale, reach your arms overhead, as you exhale, twist. Cross your left hand to the outside of your right thigh. And really create length here, and then screw your sitting bones into the earth as you revolve your left ribs toward your right ribs. Maybe take your gaze back over your right shoulder. Inhale, come back through center. Lift your arms up high overhead. Exhale, cross your right hand outside your left thigh. Stay with the spine elongating down through your sitting bones and reaching up through the crown of your head. Hug your belly button towards your spine as you twist deeper on an exhale. And then revolve back to face the top of your mat. Root the soles of your feet down in front of you. Reach your palms forward, spin them up toward the sky and slowly roll down to lie on your back. Draw your knees into your chest. Curl your shoulder blades away from the earth. Give yourself a big, big hug. Inhale here. And then exhale, Shavasana. Arms and legs extend away from each other and just melts. Allow every muscle in your body to totally relax and let go. Scan for spots that may still be holding on and send your breath there to find more softness, more surrender. And you're welcome to stay here and I encourage you to stay here absolutely as long as you can today to bask in the sensations, soak up all the good benefits of your practice. I won't guide you out. And thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Namaste.